Demi, and today we are in Coney Island. I am taking you to Luna Park for their 2023 season because two brand new attractions have opened. Tony's Express, which is a family coaster, and then intertwined with Tony's Express is Letty's Treasure, a log flume attraction. I'm super excited to be showing you these brand new attractions here today and also just enjoy this beautiful spring day with low crowds and just have the best time in one of my favorite places to be in period. So now let's get into it. Let's do Pony Island and Luna Park 2023 and let's go get into some hygiene. Letty's Treasure and Tony's Express is located together right next to the Thunderbolt off of 15th Street. Tony's Express and Letty's Treasure pay homage to the late Antonio Zamperla and his wife Letizia Zamperla, the former president and wife of Luna Park. Tony's Express is a family coaster that will bend and curve around Letty's Treasure at more than 40 miles an hour with more than 1,200 exhilarating feet of track compromise of two enchanting trains equipped with ADA access. Letty's Treasure is a massive log flume that will operate with 12 flume boats seating up to six guests at a time, lifting riders up to 40 feet in the air and providing a semicircle panoramic view of Coney Island's shoreline before plunging down to a speed of over 35 miles an hour for a big splash. The vehicles and the boats design pay homage to Coney Island's historic attractions, Switchback Railway and the chutes, while illuminated station house archways and tracks reestablishes Luna Park as the Electric Eden. Unfortunately, we had a little mishap today we bought both tickets for Tony's and Letty's at the front of the park just ten dollars each they did not know that Letty's was not running this week apparently it's still too cold even though it's really not at all it's very warm today but it's not running and even though they made the mistake they refused to still give a refund there is no refunds here at Luna Park at all however we will be able to redeem it at another ride that is really unfortunate but that's the reality here at Luna Park so here is the ride vehicle for Tony's Express. It's so cute. I love coming to Luna Park in the beginning of the season when nobody is here. Okay, Tony's Express is a true family coaster. It's literally only 30 seconds long. So if you are doing the $10 per person, it, my opinion, may not be worth it unless that's like the only ride you're gonna do. Otherwise, I would say get it as a part of the wristband and do other rides. But it's really cute. There's no drop. It, it turns to the side and then kind of goes fast and then slows down and starts to get fast again. But what's super cool is how it is intertwined with the log flume, because as you like get, gain speed and move around the track, you are also just like right above the log flume. And when there's gonna actually be people on it, it's gonna feel even more like spectacular. I really enjoyed it, super classic, smooth ride. Obviously it's brand new, so it should be smooth. And then for what I can see from Letty's Treasure, the log flume attraction is just super classic log flume. Nothing fancy, two drops, a small one and a big one. The boat kind of boats around a little bit, but very classic, simple. These are very classic rides, very simple, iconic boardwalk rides, but it is a nice addition to Luna Park for sure. There is one other brand new attraction coming to Luna Park. It is not open yet, but it is the Sky Trail. It's this structure right here. There is no opening date yet, but it looks like almost ready. I love all of the classic yellow and red colors. It's a rope climbing, uh, project adventure style attraction. Definitely not for me, but if you are into this, it is here for you. So I guess I'm gonna redeem my other ride since I can't get a refund for it. I could do the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt is a 90 degree lift coaster. I've done it before. It's super, super fun. It's so scary going up in that 90 degree and then you go straight down. It's not straight down totally. It does end up curving a little bit eventually, but it those first few drops are insane. Two loops, 
I think there may be more down there. It is super fun, but I've done it. I haven't done it in a while, but I want to do something that I have really not done in a while that my ticket also covers. That's right. Do something new, got to do something incredibly old. The classic Coney Island Cyclone. I literally have not done this ride in 10 years, maybe more. It is, it is life or death <laughs> on this ride. You, it, is, it feels so old, but that's what makes it fun. Will you survive? It's, it's, it feels, it just, you feel every bump possible, but that's why it's exciting. The Cyclone is a wooden roller coaster that opened on June 26, 1927. It is a 54 inch height requirement and is $10 to ride. No waiting for the first or last car. I cannot stress if you can come in the beginning of the season to come because the line, especially for the Cyclone, gets really long during the peak summer season. Thank you. you. Gotta leave your bags. Everything has to go. Cannot have anything on this ride. But look at it, it is just so classic, so cool. I am so excited. Somehow, I survived. <laughs> the chiropractor was in. And I cannot stress this enough, because of the way that this ride like jerks, the lighter person needs to go in first because you really, <laughs> really knocks into each other. But man, I forgot how fast it is. I forgot how rickety it is, but it's so fun, so exciting. It's like a really good lengthy, ride like it's not short at all it's it's very very long you think it's going to be over and then it's not it's so classic i mean i i haven't done it in years so it was so fun to be able to come and do that again today even though i i am sad we didn't get to try the new attraction i feel like we kind of have an understanding of what it was would be like so i i'm pretty happy with how today turned out they do have Cyclone merch here, and they do take a picture of yourself on the ride, which you can purchase here as well. Well, I don't think that we can end a day in Coney Island without hitting up my favorite spot here. Of course, I'm talking about the original Nathan's. Make sure to come to the one that's on Surf Avenue. This is the original one, the one on the boardwalk. Still good Nathan's, but this is the original. Opened in 1916 as just a cart and turned into a hot dog empire. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I never get to have Nathan's anymore because all the other locations like shut down. So I have to literally come to Coney Island to get them. We got their bacon jalapeno ranch fries. Never had that before. And just a classic hot dog with sauerkraut and mustard. Let's try these fries out first. That is so good. There is really great heat in there. The fries are also like super crispy and the cream is so creamy, such great flavors. And you get the smokiness of the bacon. That is excellent. Perfect ending to a perfect day. Cheers. Oh my God. There is really nothing like an Nathan's hot dog. So good, that bite is so perfect. Oh my gosh, such great flavor. It's worth it. It's worth all of the hype. It is. Cheers. Well, my dudes, I had a fantastic day in Coney Island in Luna Park. I'm so happy that we got to see these two brand new attractions. I think the design is absolutely perfect. It looks so classic. Boardwalk Amusement Park, Coney Island. I love that they're intertwined. I think when both rides are running at the same time, it's gonna be just extra, extra fun. I think that the Tony's Express is definitely short, but it is a great family coaster. And I'm just so glad that I got a chance to ride the Cyclone. I haven't ridden it in so, so long. It was so fun to do that. And of course, for me, you just have to end the day here at Nathan's. It's just, you know, 
just it's just the rule <laughs> in my opinion but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel follow me on instagram at magical hijinks check out the patreon come patreon get exclusive bonus content bonus lives help with trip planning and so much more and you'll help continue bringing great content like this to this channel and until next time my dudes i hope you guys can see hijinks very very soon have a bye